if you haven't had this gnocchi before like you're missing out so good <laughs> for lunch in a week because I feel like my lunch meals are sort of rushed a lot of the time and just convenient, but they're also really good. So I wanted to show you how I make them. I was thinking about making a salad. I'm gonna put garbanzo beans in it. So I wanna put those in my air fryer now so that I have enough time to let them get crispy before I make the salad. So it's a little earlier than when I would normally start making lunch, but I'm gonna continue making it once those are ready. This has quinoa, sweet potato, and zucchini. I also have these sweet potato like ribbons, so they're like thinly sliced pieces of sweet potato. I'm gonna microwave some of these too to cook them a little bit. I'm also gonna microwave some broccoli to cook it down a little bit. While those are microwaving, I'm gonna start making the actual salad. So I take some like pre-made salad mix from Trader Joe's. This one is the broccoli kale straw. I just take like a handful of the kale and broccoli slaw. Let's see. Then I'm going to peel this cucumber and just slice it up. take a good scoop of tahini and then I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast on top of that. my salad. I have some homework to do, so I'm going to do that while I eat this and drink the rest of my poppy. This is a delicious salad. Super fast. Took me like 10 minutes to make. Highly recommend. This is one of the best salads I think I've ever made. And it's like perfect for fall because it's like the colors and stuff. That is lunch. Day one. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome to another lunch. Today, it is kind of cold outside and I'm not feeling amazing. I feel like I'm starting to get sick, so fingers crossed. I've been like taking Tylenol and like cough drops and stuff, but because it is a little cold and I'm just like not feeling great, I'm just gonna make some lentil soup. So as you can see, this is just like pre-packaged, pre-made, all you have to do is microwave it. And then I have some frozen edamame. I'm just gonna warm that up too. Half of the soup, so there's still 
some in here that I'm just gonna leave until I'm done eating lunch because if I want more I'll just like warm more up otherwise we'll put this in a Tupperware and stick it in the fridge for later then on my soup I'm just gonna add some nutritional yeast and some minced onion Here is today's lunch. All right, so I'm gonna eat this and my soup, and then I have to go to work. So I'm gonna eat this, do some homework, go to work, and yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, friends. Welcome back to another day of me cooking. I mentioned yesterday how I wasn't really feeling great and my sickness has gotten worse. You can kind of hear it in my voice. My voice has been going in and out. Dry bed, I just some tahini and a carrot. I just needed a quick snack. For lunch today, I'm gonna make like a little Mexican bowl. I have this frozen brown rice that I got from Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. And then I just microwave that on it up. I have this pan here. This is a mix of roasted red peppers and onions, or just all peppers. This is from Trader Joe's. I just put like some onions. I'm gonna put a good amount in there. On top of the peppers and onions, I'm gonna put some broccoli. I'm gonna add some of the sweet potato that I had the other day. While my vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna open up a can of beans. Put all the beans in here. I'm just gonna take a couple of scoops of that. These are the garbanzo beans that I had from the other day. That's over. So I'm just gonna take some of these also. I'm gonna add some chili powder for vegetables. it's very easy kind of just take what you have at home in terms of like vegetables i have had a lot of frozen vegetables recently because it saves a lot of time for like chopping if i don't have time and it's really easy like for that reason so i highly recommend getting some if you're ever in a rush beans are super easy you just open the can you can see just warm it up and then obviously the frozen rice was also super easy it's just plain rice there's nothing added to it and i just have to warm it up I'm gonna eat this. I still have extra vegetables and beans. And I can easily warm up more rice if I want more. I have some tea here. Hopefully my voice gets better because, yeah. So I just have plain like black tea and some honey. I'm gonna eat this. I think I'm gonna watch something because like I can't focus on my homework right now. I already tried. I will see you guys for another meal tomorrow. So stay tuned. Have a great Wednesday. I hope no one else is sick. And if you are, feel better. This is really good. So I'm gonna go enjoy it. <laughs> Bye. Hello everyone. It is Thursday. As you can hear from my voice, I am not doing great. So bear with me because my voice is just like cutting in and out. I just made myself this smoothie. That's like mango, banana, strawberry. Sorry, my sister just facetimed me. So this smoothie is a banana, strawberry, mango, spinach, oat milk, and just one scoop of protein powder. 
I just felt like I needed some like fruit and like something refreshing. I do want to like eat something also. I'm gonna make myself a little like grain bowl. Also super easy. Everything comes in the freezer. Let's make that. So I have these two. This one I've had before from St. Joe's. It's just a mix of green garbanzo beans, bread and green lentils, tomatoes and olive oil. Really good. But then I also have this one from Whole Foods that's lentils, broccoli, peas, peppers, soybeans, and garlic. So I think I'm gonna do like a mix of both. And I really like this one, but I wanna try this one. Let me see if it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna warm this up on the stove because I'm in no rush. I have to microwave it. I'm gonna start by just heating this one up. And I took out some rice and I'm just gonna microwave some rice to put it under this. It's also been so cold. And I'm like, this sort of affects my mood, and I think it's affecting my health. That's why I'm sick. Come with me to check on our vegetables. Here we are. Here's like the first half. This is the one I haven't tried yet, so I'm excited to try it. Honestly, it just looks like a lot of broccoli and not a lot of lentils. I guess that's sort of good because I know that the other one is very heavily used. Protein based and not as many vegetables, so I guess it's a good blend to have together on rice. My rice is ready. Come with me. <laughs> Walk with me. Come on, let's go. There's some rice in the bowl. I like, like, Oh my god, you fell out of my tripod. Awesome. I decided that I'm gonna add some mushrooms to this, but also the frozen ones that I love from Juicy My Freezer right now. Like, there's so much frozen food in here because, like, I never have time to, like, make things. So, um, like, except at night or, like, breakfast, it's more like my lunches are always super rushed. But I'm going to add some of these mushrooms from Trader Joe's. I talked about them before. They're just all little garlic and parsley. They really taste so good. They look weird when they're frozen, but I swear they're really good. This is what it looks like so far. This is the Trader Joe's medley that I use. Very delicious. So this one's like heavily like lentils, garbanzo beans, and then some tomatoes. So good balance between like veggie carb protein. You see they're like green garbanzo beans. It's kind of fun. You guys want to come say hi to Julian? We're on FaceTime now. Say hi. It's not a vlog. It's a what I eat in a week. For lunch. No, it is. You think I'm just filming this for fun? <laughs> I'm taking off the lentils and garbanzo beans. This blend here. So this is the situation. We have some lentils, garbanzo beans, veggies, and some rice. And then I have the rest of my smoothie. This is like such a good lunch. Like, so good. I recommend going to get this stuff from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. It makes it so easy to make meals. Literally just warm it up. Like, you could put them in the microwave. But I just had time to put on some while here for again. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm gonna go eat this and talk to Jillian. I will see you tomorrow for lunch. Hopefully, my voice, like, gets better because I literally can't even speak. My dad was literally like, stop talking. I can't understand what you're saying. So yeah, but I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Hey everyone. It is a couple days later. I haven't been able to film because I've been super sick. So I kind of just paused the filming of the video just because my meals have been kind of repetitive with like different soups and like smoothie things. I'm making some dinner right now and just wanted to show you the lentil soup that I made the other day. I made it in another way tonight. So I just put it in this little container. Basically what I did was I took half of the lentil soup, put it in my blender, and then put the remaining piece, of, like chunks of lentils into a pot with it, and then added some spinach pieces. And then I also added some seasoning. This one from Trader Joe's is one of my favorites. And then I just added some like onion, garlic, and like salt. Right now I'm making some bonza rice. I don't know if you've ever seen this. It's one of my favorites. This is the tree color one and i'm just gonna put this like thicker soup lentil thing on top of the rice this one's just made from chickpeas so it adds some extra protein also hopefully i can get back to filming soon i'm getting better 
and I got a negative COVID test today, so I should be back soon. Here is the bonzo rice. This is like a lentil soup mixture. It's sort of like a little lentil stew. So that's what it looks like. Obviously it doesn't look very appetizing, but it tastes very good. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you like another alternative to how to use that soup. Hopefully I see you guys soon making lunches. Happy Friday, everyone. It is actually Friday now, the next week. I've been very sick, and as you can hear my voice, it's still not 100% back. Happy to be back today. I'm making one of my favorite lunches, spring rolls. So the first thing I'm gonna do for it is just cut up some tofu so I can put a protein in it. I'm using extra firm tofu. I'm just gonna cut like a third-ish of the block like this and then cut this in first as well. This piece is like this little like rectangle. And then with the remaining, I'm just gonna put this away so I can use it for another meal another time. So I laid out everything that I wanna put in the spring roll. I have tofu, some more of the kale and broccoli salt that I used the other day some broccoli, some peppers, sweet potato, and cucumber. Then this is a plate just with some water for the spring roll wrappers, and then these are the actual wrappers. I use brown rice ones. Before I make them, I'm gonna cook some vegetables to the side. So I just have these, it's stir fry vegetables from Trader Joe's. This has peas, bamboo shoots, soybeans, water chestnuts, carrots, and mushrooms. So I'm just gonna cook these on the stove with some soy sauce. While the vegetables are cooking, I'm going to start making the spring rolls. I take one piece of the brown rice paper, soak it in some warm water. And I'm going to put it on my plate and then just start putting some slaw. Then I'm going to put some peppers. I have my sweet potato, some cucumber slices. I'm going to try and do three like cubes of tofu. Now to wrap it, take one end, like almost like you're wrapping a burrito. So you want to like close Tend off, sort of, okay? And then I'm gonna fold this side over and then fold it all the way like a burrito. There is spring roll number one. to make didn't take very long i have some nutritional yeast in case i want to put some on the vegetables i just like sauteed those in tamari and then i also have some tamari on the side in case i want to put any on the spring rolls cheers <laughs> it is so good this is what the inside looks like obviously with something like this it's so customizable you choose exactly what you want inside again you can make them all different um, you can use any kind of protein. I've made them with garbanzo beans before, which is also very delicious. Probably have a poppy, honestly. I'm happy to be back filming. Hopefully my voice comes back to normal. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. So I will see you then. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another day for lunch. It is Saturday, and today I'm going to make one of my favorite lunch meals in terms of like first of all what it is and second of all how easy it is also as you can tell i'm like projecting a lot louder than i've been not only did my voice pretty much come back 100 percent, but also no one is working in my house today so i'm not like self-conscious or like embarrassed at all to be talking to a camera in the middle of my kitchen what you can see here is what i'm gonna make for lunch this is the leftover tofu from yesterday 
I'm gonna cut some of this up as my protein. I have the kale and spinach gnocchi from Trader Joe's. And then I also put the cauliflower gnocchi, I think together, they're really delicious. And then I also have the rest of my broccoli. So I'm gonna use this as like my veggie. And then we have like a basic lunch, kind of some protein, carbs, and vegetables. The reason why it is one of my favorite lunches is because it all goes into my air fryer. So it's super easy, super fast to make because I just stick everything in basically together and then it's ready in like 25 minutes. cooking and then I'm gonna just take this out perfect as you see it's like a little crispy on the outside which is just like so yummy the gnocchi is so good the broccoli got a little crispy that's okay my tofu is just like cooked a little bit this is today's meal we have the tofu the gnocchi and my broccoli and then this orange poppy. I'm just gonna eat this while I do some work on my computer. So I used to put the Romesco sauce from Trader Joe's on the gnocchi. It's very good, but it has almonds in it and I can't eat it anymore, sadly. But I have had this with the Primal Kitchen pasta sauce and it's also very yummy. Sometimes I put nutritional yeast on it. Right now I'm kind of just like happy to have it plain. You could do any veggies that you want. Like, as you can see, it's super easy. Just like stick them in the air fryer. Everything goes in at once. So it's not a lot of like dishes to clean. There aren't a lot of steps involved. You just put everything on one tray, basically cook it. And then it's all ready at once, which is just so easy and convenient. I will see you guys tomorrow. So have a good Saturday. Happy Sunday, friends. I am in the car, obviously. So today I had a little change of plans. Honestly, on Sundays, like lunch is always a little different just because I go to the farmer's market in the morning and then like, it depends what time I go. So if I go like closer to the afternoon, I am kind of have more of a snack in the afternoon than like a full lunch because I always get dinner on Sunday nights. Like I go out, it's like one of my nights that I like to go out because it's like one of the nights that I'm not working. Tonight, I have dinner plans with one of my friends to go to Katsuya and I kind of just got back from the farmer's market like an hour ago and it's like 3 p.m. right now. So it's kind of like a weird time, but I also want to get some sort of like little lunch. I also don't want to go home right now because there's a lot of people working at my house and I'm already out. So I'm just going to pick up some food from Creation, I think, and do some work over there. Today I'm not making a lunch and sometimes I just have to like eat out, which is like totally okay. And yeah, so happy Sunday. wrap in this i can show you this is everything that's in it it's wrapped in a lettuce wrap so lettuce hummus cucumber carrots and radish inside and then this is like a little tahini dressing and then here is my oatmeal cappuccino Okay, so I'm just gonna end this video here, kinda loud, but this is the end of my what I eat for lunch in a week. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please like and comment, which I guess is giving it a thumbs up, but subscribe to my channel and I'm very excited to film some videos in the future. I have my Erewhon haul coming up, which I'm really excited to film because if you know me, you know how much I go there and like how obsessed I am with the market. So yeah, stay tuned for that and have a good Sunday and rest of your week. And I will see you guys Wednesday, I guess. So yeah, have a good day. Bye.